Hey everybody, Sarah here from TheGameYak.com. Here we are today back in Grounded, grabbing the Webmaster Achievement. This is to zip across a zip line for 100 centimeters. First thing you have to do is you have to make sure you find the recipe to make your own zip line. And to do that, you have to play through the story up to the point where you finish the hedge lab. So to find the hedge lab, what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom right of the map, which is going to be the berry bush. Make sure you find the branch and the paper clip that will take you into the bush. There is going to be a field station right here, so you can check that out and set up base here. From there, you want to go right, and then you want to follow this branch, which is going to take you further up into the bush. Make sure you take the right path that is leading towards the juice box keep following this branch until you get to the juice box make sure you try your best not to fall down because you will die from the fall since you are pretty high up but just zip around here you know you're in the right place heading towards the mushroom staircase right here and then once you are up here you are going to find the juice box be careful there are spiderlings up here that will knock you down if you aren't careful so just make sure you are here you are going to come across a zip line right here unfortunately this one is a tad too short in order to get the achievement this one's only 55 centimeters meters for context but zip across and this should take you further into the bush once you land make sure you turn left and then you want to continue down the path again making sure you are very careful not to fall down and then just follow along once you make your way back onto the big branch make sure you hang a right there should be some spider webs and eggs here you can hit those up if you really want to but you are going to cross this right here be very careful very easy to fall here when transitioning from branch to branch but slowly make your cross over and you should see the first part of the lab right here there's some pretty cool stuff in there that you might want to grab so make sure you loot it if you really want to but you are going to head back out and then we are going to continue down until we hit this dead end right here once we're here we're going to turn turn and then you can actually drop down this side there should be some mushrooms here but eventually you can catch yourself right on this branch there should be the next zip line right here make sure you take this one across again this one's not long enough for the achievement there are no naturally occurring zip lines that are going to be useful for the achievement they're just used to traverse across here but once we cross here we are going to hang a right and you should get to this landmark which is going to be the flying disc keep note of this because this is where the end of the game is going to take place at least for this current build of the game so make sure you pay attention because we will be back here for a later achievement anyways cross the flying disc there are going to be a bunch of spiderlings here so make sure you get ready to either fight or avoid them but you are eventually going to cross here and this is going to take you to the next part of the bush on this big branch Make sure you hang a right, and then we are going to progress up here. There should be another zip line that's going to take you to the next indoorsy bits. Once you land, get ready to do some fighting because there are going to be spiderlings in here. Again, make sure you take your time to loot whatever you want from here. There's some pretty cool stuff, including some science, which is the game's currency, so make sure you take advantage of that. But nonetheless, you are going to exit. Instead of heading straight, take a sharp left. You should see some dandelion tufts here, which you can use to float back down if needed. But continue up until you get to the next mushroom staircase, and then make sure you staircase up here. And then once you get to this branch, we are going to continue straight. Once you see this leaf, that is going to be your turn to climb up it to get onto this part. The hedge lab is going to be directly in front of you, so just follow the branch along until you can plant your feet on solid ground right over here on this big branch take a right and then we have one more zip line to take into the actual main facility so once we get to there we are going to basically start the dungeon the main crux of the dungeon is basically going to have you access this computer it's going to ask for a password and you are supposed to navigate your way around and then find the four pieces of the password to bring back to this computer in order to power the station so make sure you do that this is all part of the story the hardest part actually is getting here in all honesty but once you manage to turn the power back on you are going to have access to this room so just make sure you hit it up it's going to be right here next to the entrance make sure you pull the lever in order to finish this dungeon quest and then after that we can grab our end dungeon loot which is going to be the hedge chip Make sure you pick it up and then what you want to do with any chip that you find is bring it back to the oak tree lab and then you want to give it to Burgle and basically this is going to unlock a new item in the store. So make sure you ask him to trade some science for some items so pick that option and you are going to spend your science points on whatever item you need. So the thing you want to look for is going to be the zip lines it's going to cost 7500 so make sure you save up your points and then invest in this one that will unlock the recipe for the zipline anchor which is the thing you use to make a zipline 
Now that we have the recipe, it's on to actually building it. Here is going to be the ingredients you are going to need. You are going to need one silk rope, four pieces of clay, and six wheat stems. These are going to also require some sub steps that go along with them. Most notably, you are going to need a spinning wheel, which is going to take all of these ingredients. You can kind of save time and then do multiple ingredients at once. First thing you need is going to be some sap. You can pretty much find this anywhere on branches. Just make sure you pick it up. There is going to be a branch next to the spawn area which has three drops so make sure you grab that head up to the oak tree and here you are going to need a hammer to break these acorns make sure you break the acorns and then grab the shells and the acorn top you need the top for the spinning wheel and you need the shells in order to build a shovel in order to get some clay once you have everything from your acorns make sure you head over to the southeast pond Make sure you craft and equip a shovel and then look at the waterfront for these brown patches. You are going to use the shovel in order to harvest some clay. Make sure you grab a bunch because we will need more for later. Not only to make the spinning wheel but also to make the actual zipline anchor. We are also going to require some parts that we need to get from ants. Best place to go is going to be to the ant hill to the left of the starting area. You need to make sure you kill some soldier ants because you need their more advanced parts. You can't just use worker ants. So make sure you kill a few soldier ants, maybe about two or three, and then make sure you loot them. You are going to need every single ant ingredient. So make sure you grab all four types, the head, the parts, the mandibles, and the acid gland. So make sure you try to get a couple of each and then we should be good in terms of our resource gatherer. Make sure you head back to a workbench and then we are going to craft our spinning wheel first. That's going to be two acorn tops, four pieces of clay, four ant parts, three things of sap, and then four crude ropes, which obviously you get from plant fibers. Put that all together and then you should get your spinning wheel which is going to be a utility item make sure you pop that somewhere you are also going to need a bunch of web fibers obviously to make the silk rope so make sure you hit up your local spider webs and then start hunting and then just make sure you put the web fibers in the spinning wheel and then let them spin it is going to take a while to spin so we are going to move on to the next part while this is going on in the background make sure you head back and then refill the spinner every now and again because you will need more than just four pieces of rope so just make sure you keep filling that up and then while that's going on we are going to work on the next step which is going to be to build the ant armor now you might have noticed in the zipline anchors recipe it requires you to have six wheat stems however by default you can only carry four of the building materials so there are going to be two ways around this you can either take a specific drink or you can build yourself the ant armor which at this stage of the game is going to be the more simple option so if you don't have enough ant parts from our hunt earlier you can head back to the ant hill remember you have to kill soldier ants in order to get the more advanced parts like the mandibles and the acid glands worker ants do not drop that so make sure you kill the soldier ants and then grab all of the parts you need you need quite a bit in order to make a full set of armor so keep that in mind so try to make sure you kill a few ants and try to harvest enough parts once we have all the ant parts the second requirement we need for the ant armor is going to be mite fuzz you can find mites over by the tripod to the bottom left of the starting area they should appear here chomping on the extension cord make sure you kill them they are super weak however they do like to attack in groups so try to be a little careful once you kill them every mite should drop fuzz it's pretty much their only drop so once you grab some fuzz we are going to head back to our little crafting station and make sure we build out our armor so just make sure you do this at a workbench it has to be at a workbench you can't craft armor in pocket so just make sure you find the ant helmet it's going to be one ant head three ant parts five might fuzz then we're going to have the arm guards which are going to be five ant parts two acid glands and two might fuzz and then finally, we are going to have the knee guards, which are going to be six ant parts, two crude ropes, and then four mite fuzz. Again, you get crude ropes from plant fibers, so make sure you pick those. And then once you have the full set, just make sure you equip them in your inventory. And now we should be able to carry more than four of the building material items. You can carry up to eight now, thanks to this armor set. Back on our spinning wheel, make sure you grab all of the ropes, which should have been done now. Keep in mind, you do need more than the requirements of the actual zipline anchors. You're going to need about a half dozen or so in order to build the line. So make sure you make extra just in case. Anyways, we're going to set up our build in an open area. The easiest place to do with this is going to be the left side of the north lake. Once you are here, just make sure you chop down your dandelions in order to get your plant stems. It's easier to chop them down here instead of 
trying to carry them around the orb weaver spiders that you need to pass on the way here. So there should be some dandelions growing along the north side of the forest. Just make sure you chop a few down and then grab your stems. Again, it's going to be six in order to make a zipline anchor. So make sure you chop a few down and then just make sure you bring your parts over here. We're going to set up the first anchor right over here on this part of the shoreline. So make sure you combine your parts. Again, if you don't remember the recipe, it's going to be right over here. It's going to be one silk rope, four pieces of clay, and six wheat stems. So make sure you combine those together in order to get your first anchor, and we're going to pop it down. You want to make sure it's going to be right around this spot. Remember, the distance is important. 100 centimeters is actually quite a far distance in this game. Craft your zipline in this particular spot. The reason for that is your zipline also has to go in a decline. The reason for that is you need to be able to zip across the whole thing instead of trying to get stuck in the middle. So once you have the first anchor crafted, we are going to chop down another few dandelions and then grab some more stems. You are going to need six. Take these with you to the other side of the pond. You want to try to find a spot that is not only far away and higher up, but also facing the other zipline anchor. So right about here should be good. Make sure there's nothing in the way between you and the other anchor as well. You want to back up to the far side of the stone. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you craft your zipline anchor. I recommend making a manual save right before this. The reason for that is you cannot move an anchor once you place it. So try to be a little careful on your placement. But once you pick a spot, make sure you craft it out and then you are going to go up to it. You are going to want to hit the X button in order to connect the zip line and you are going to basically target any nearby zip lines. Target the one we placed on the other side of the pond. You know it's the right distance if it says six silk ropes or more. So once you have that amount, just make sure you go up to the outline and then craft your silk ropes. You're going to place the ones in your inventory to craft the rope. Again, it's going to be six or more to cover the distance of 100 centimeters once you have that just make sure you go to the start of the zip line hit x to zip on and then just slowly glide across it's not going to be too steep of a decline so it is going to take a while to get across try your best to get across and then hopefully nothing attacks you or knocks you off the line and once you make the journey and touch down you should cover the distance and be good for the achievement there it is it's going to be for 25 gamer score and that's all there is to it